assalamu alaikum hello everyone uh, in today's tutorial we will talk about uh, matlab tool which is a very famous tool for statistical analysis and visualization of large data sets so first of all from where you can download that uh, matlab tool for that uh, what you need to do is just go and you can just search matlab and here you can see that uh, it takes there are a lot of links from where you can download it and uh, if you click this one free download for, for PC here you can see that you can download the whole so, uh, software from here it's a very big file and uh, it's of 20 GB file and there are a lot of you can say prerequisites you need to follow that the memory size and everything you need to know and uh, there is one other way that uh, you can use uh, that online right and uh, and one other thing that is here you can see that if you just copy this link I'll paste that in the below comment section here you can just copy that link and you can go to the website where you can upload or you can use the MATLAB so first of all let's load one file just open it I have just clicked upload and now it's uploading in this MATLAB so if you see this file here you can see that there are a lot of different numbers uh, there's, a, there's a data which contains rows and columns and there's a very complex numerical information here available that can be of any information any values related to any statistical data or any bank receipts or any uh, genetic data or biological data or anything right so this data file then now this is uploaded here right now first thing what you need to do is uh, you have to load this file so this is just uploaded right now you can just click it and you can go through whole file right but now if you want to load this file we need to use the load command right just write load and then data underscore file and it will load the data file right now here you can see in the uh, workspace this uh, data file is loaded right and uh, yes now if you want to do further things let's say uh, if you just click it and you can see that this is the detail of all the files and it's nine columns and more than thousand rows and all the file is loaded here right you can see the whole files and you can identify the columns and rows from for which you want to do the analysis I will show you some of the ways how you can select some of the columns and rows and you can perform any type of analysis uh, from basic like I will just use one average uh, just I'll just take an average an example as an example so uh, first of all what you need to know is how to visualize the file right for instance I am using time as a and I'm equal, time equals to data file which is loaded I'm saving that information in time and then just using this command that is colon I it will display all the values right in one you can say line or in column and here you can see all the files are all the values which are uh, in that file are loaded so I, I just write CLC and it will clear the workspace then now if I want to do something else using the same command same uh, data file for instance I, I just write semicolon now here you can see now this is different I when I type this semicolon the output is suppressed it is it is not shown here but it is saved in the workspace but if I will not put semicolon then it will display all the files 
right now uh, let's see uh, if i want to display the data present in the second column of the file right i'll just write colon and this column right i just uh, close this and then enter yeah here this this file actually uh, this these values are from the first sorry first uh, uh, column of the data file and now if I want to uh, do for instance let's say using the sensor s sensors uh, function command I want to eliminate some data and I want to store some of the data in the in the uh, for my analysis for example just colon and I'm just saving the file from the second column and I'm excluding the rest of the elim uh, eliminating or excluding some of the information present in the first column of the data right now if I just want to now you can see that how this is eliminated now I am from first row to sixth row I want to paste and here you can see that it is pasted from the first to sixth row if we see in the data file here you can see that uh, let's uh, it says and let's go at the top yeah here you can see that this, if you see this is the first column if you see the second column right the second from the second column it is pasting from second to the uh, first six rows of the second column here you can 3.92 if you see here in the yeah here you can see the last one the 3.392 uh, that is the uh, you can say the sixth row and the second column of the file right so now if um, Oh, what uh, you need to do let's let's play around with this information right here you can see all the commands and I will paste these commands at the end of the uh, tutorial from where you can use those commands for your interest and your analysis right now semicolon and the, uh, the command uh, you can see that that is suppressed and saved in the workspace Now here you can see that the fourth uh, because on now only the four columns are saved from one to four and all those files are pasted here. Now let's see if we want to take the average. Right? So this is the mean uh, function we can use here. Sensors, comma, row name that is two here and suppress the command and now it is saved. You can see here saved in the second one. This one, yeah. now this is one two, yeah now here you can see that the command is pasted from one to six and the average from one colon six to one to six two comma one right now I want to plot this right and using the plot function writing this like time comma sensors uh, 
bracket colon comma two Here you can see if I just enter this and just wait for a bit and you will see the, the, the it will plot this in now you see you can see the plot so I'm just giving you an example that how you can plot the data and how you can select the data you can exclude some data from your file and uh, you can use that information to perform your further analysis but here there are some of the commands for instance I just am using different commands for visualization of the graph one is hold on or you can plot uh, and you can so you can use different ways of presenting your data in a graph all these graphs and uh, we uh, options are mentioned in the below uh, comment section or you can say description of the file a description of the video so that if you want to reproduce all this uh, analysis on MATLAB using o your own uh, file, data file, whatever file you have and you can use that file and use these commands and you can come up with the solutions of your questions, right? And uh, this will, this is just the basics of the MATLAB uh, tutorial that how you can uh, use the MATLAB, how you can install the MATLAB and how you can perform basic functions. So if I just write, here you can see that I want to uh, write the names or legends on this graph. I'll just write legends, sensor, command 2 and then you can see here value name that is AVR and enter right so now you can see now you can the legends are now here that sensor 2 is actually in red color and AVR in blue color right so you can make this uh, graph as explainable as possible as descriptive or as simple as possible using multiple of commands all these commands of X label plot legend and um, y label are uh, are mentioned in the description please follow these uh, commands if you have any questions you can ask that in the below uh, question bar comment section right So now you can see that time seconds is mentioned here and let's see what is the let's uh, y label now this will put the sensor value here right so yeah so now by the end of all the analysis for instance you have done all these things and now you want to export all this information uh, in a matrix format uh, so what you need to do is you have to export that You can just, for instance, you just write export time, uh, comma sensors, and it will export the file, right? I think all these things will uh, will be clear to you when you will perform all these analysis yourself. I think that's enough. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.